What is good, friends? I just built this Heracross team, and of course, we get a tap Coco in the first game because, like, this team is kind of weak to Coco. I could put, like, um, a Tangrowth so over Clefable, but Clefable is just really cool because it gets up Rocks as a stall. And it checks, like, Heracross and Medicham, which is if I put a Tangrowth instead, I'm kind of weak to Medicham and Heracross. And maybe the other thing I could do is replace Mantine. Uh, maybe with a Latios or something like that. That's probably what I should do. But yeah, this is just... Um, I, like, basically, my way of beating Coco is keeping my Landreth healthy, which is why I have Protect Leftovers to get that health up. And I'll just lead with uh, Scarf and Heligo in this matchup. I have HPIs. Uh, for Landris, and if he leads with Tapu Lily, I can go for. Actually, I have HP Fire. Never mind, I change it to HP Fire. Because, yeah, yeah, I change it to HP Fire because my Clefable doesn't have Flamethrower. Because I want Knock Off. Um, I'd usually like to at least have one Knock Off Mon on my teams. And I kind of want to HP Fire here because he should go into his Scizor. But if he goes Scissor, he gets... Yeah, yeah, like I lose momentum if he goes Scissor and I go for Power Gem. Then he gets a U-turn into his Coco, which is going to be so annoying to deal with. So I want to HP Fire, but if he stays in, I'm in such a bad position. But yeah, he goes Landreth, which I don't agree with. Thought he would go Scissor there. I mean, my play was risky and I should have just gone for Power Gem, but... Now he can get up his Rocks and I'm forced to Defog and then he gets in his Coco anyway, which is what I wanted to prevent. But he has Voltron into, like he has U-turn, U-turn, like these things just U-turn over my um, Cell Steel and my Menton to bring in Tapu Koko. But I don't know why he HP is there. I was never going into my Landorus when I have Menton and uh, and Cell Steel, but I I get a free Scald here. I I kind of want a Toxic because it hits the Mana Fee. Yeah, Toxic seems like a good play. Let's he shouldn't go Scissor and hit everything else. Like the only option that Manaphy has to get rid of it is Rain Dance, which it could definitely be. Yeah, but other than that, we should be good to go. Yeah, I was considering the stream with this team, but I have. Oh, nice! He brings in the Coco, the big threat. He lets, he lets me toxic it. That's amazing, dude. Thank you. So I can stay in here, make a risky read, but it's not worth it. Like. Nihiligo can live one hit, but health on Nihiligo is kind of nice. So I'll just throw my Landers in if he goes for HP, it's good play, but I can just go for Protect on the next turn. And if he goes for U, then it doesn't do anything, because... Like, my Landers is still at full. Yeah, you get in your mana fee, but... Uh, you can tell Glow um, or Ice Beam or Serve. I don't have haste on mana, so if he's a Rain this is gonna be scary. Yeah, mana fee is a threat that to this team, but like usually you don't see mana fee that often. Uh, Delving into Tapu Lele doesn't do anything, um, unless he's like T-Bolt, or like is he T-Bolt, does he Thunder? I see that set sometimes to lure Cell Stealer. I mean I don't really see it much, I saw it once in OST, I'm used it was FLCL. Um, but yeah, I kinda wanna scout for for that move and go on in the Heligo, but then if he goes for Psychic, I'm in a bad position, so I'm kind of forced to stay in. Like, I just scald here. If he has the Thunder or the t that's just a good... Like, you got me, dude. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to... Maybe I should go Celesteela here. But he could go Manaphy too, so I want to try and burn that. And, like, Scald is over my best play in case he goes Coco that's already poisoned and I get more damage on that. Like, Celesteela, if I scout for the t it's maybe the play, but then... Oh my god, he specs. Okay. I didn't think about Psyshock. So I just threw my Mantan away. That was a horrible play on my part. And now he can double on me. Oh my lord, that did so much. He's modest. Dude, that's modest. Um, I want to leech it here, predicting his Landris. I don't think he's staying in the sack, this Lily. Dude, I was thinking Psychic. That was a good play on his part, man. I kinda wanna double into my Manton here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna double into my Manton here. He's gonna go Landris and I need leftovers. I need to get this in on the double switch a few times to get to get leftovers. And yeah, we get this we don't get this correct. 
Dude, if I lead sheet there, you're in such a bad position. Why was Coco ever the play there? Like, why, dude? See, I'm gonna break the HP eyes or U-turn here and go on the hill ago. He's not gonna T-Bolt when I'm that low. Actually, he might. Yeah, he dazzling him. Like, some sort of move that would have killed me at 13% that wasn't T-Bolt. Because he doesn't want me to go free in the Landris. And yeah, this time I'm just gonna uh, power jam. Because I don't want to give the Scissor a completely free switch in. And yeah, I, c I could have sludged it and killed this, but like... If he went Scissor, I would have lost momentum. Like, I didn't get any damage off, that would have been bad. I mean, he got the Scissor in anyway. Um, but you, you guys know what I'm saying, right? I think I have to go sell Steeler here. He's just gonna U-turn. I could have also gone Clefable or... Um, Landris, man, and this is a fine play, because if I go Landris and he SD'd up, I'm put in a very bad spot. He also can't go Coco here, because he dies to Poison. Like, if he doesn't die to Poison, I can just go for Protect and he dies next turn, so this is fine. And this is fine too, because I can Protect and see what he locks himself into. Okay, let's just go for Psy Shock. I have no switch-ins. So I either have to set Manta and let my Steeler go low, I guess I'll just let this get low. It's crazy how much damage damage this does. Maybe I should make this fifth dive to check pins are better. Let's see, that's a free protect. Doubles into mana fee. Not sure why. Just leech seed here. And now we just get some. I kind of want to go Mantan here, but he's just gonna tail glow. But if he scores here, that would be lovely. Because so now he's gonna Ice Beam slash Energy Ball. Mm, damn it, I just should have stayed in with my Soul Stealer. He has Psychic instead, so that's cool. We can eat that up for days. I'm gonna go in the Heligo here on the Predicted Tail Glow. Actually, I'm gonna go back to Manta and Predicting a Water Move. But he might just Tail Glow again. But yeah, we predict him correct. There we get the Manta in. And uh, now we can go sell a stealer. Look how I got my Mantan from so low back to full. He gets a crit there which sucks. Um, damn. I'm just gonna have you slim here. Dude, that sucks dude. If he didn't get a crit I would've lived. I wanted to protect but I didn't want to let it get f to get a free tag But yeah, I'm, st I'm still fine. Uh, power gem should kill. I mean t -Volt. Now if power gem doesn't kill Nihilic goes ass. Okay, nice. I almost want. I was considering sludge waving too. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't do it. But yeah, this is pretty fine. Mantan pretty much puts in the word now that I killed his Lele and that his uh, Coco can't really come in because it's poisoned. And yeah, he's probably gonna knock off here. But yeah, I'll just roost. Uh, he's life orb, so this is a bit scary. So I'm just gonna go for roost again. Maybe I should just Toxic. Yeah, I should just Toxic here. Okay, we do dodge. That sucks a bit, but I don't think it would do too much since I have a Calm Nature. That's just you turn. Yeah, this is pr looking pretty nice now. Yeah, but I'm... Like, Manson is just... Some matchups it's so good. Like, I have the Heligo to get to check Volcarona, but my fear is just that they pair. Sometimes Volcarona is paired with Dagi, so to get rid of the Heligo. And Mantan is like a secondary way to check Volk and Zard Y. Oh yeah, my team was also weak to Zard Y. But then Hilgo is also Zard Y check, so technically... And Latios also checks Zard Y. I'm considering putting a Latios over this. Mm, maybe a Z-move Latios would be nice. Double Scarf would be nice to catch people off guard, because I already, already have a Scarfer. Like, no one would expect a secondary Scarfer. But this is the, the, the other reason I have this is it's a really nice Greninja check. It's one of the few mods that defog on Greninja. Unless Greninja gets a Gunshot Poison, that's gonna be annoying. Or if Greninja gets, um... What was the other thing that Greninja can get? I'm just gonna go hard and illegal here, because he's either gonna Tail Glow or Rain Dance. Yeah, exactly, and I get a free Power Gem here. Yeah, the other thing that Greninja can run is HP Electric to pick this off, and Rock Slide, but they don't... Yeah, Rock Slide is only on Scarf Gwen most of the time to check Volcarona, not really on the, the Protein. But yeah, how do you guys feel about the Grenin Greninja and this meta at the moment? Um. I'm recording this on um, Tuesday the 30th of the 30th of May. Uh, that might be that might have been pronounced wrong. 
I'm just gonna go Manta in here, not risking this. I need my, I want this around. It's still pretty nice to keep, and I just get a free Skull here. Yeah, how do you feel about Greninja in this meta game? I'm just, I just mentioned the day where I recorded this because it might go up like two or three days later. Because I uh, recorded, if we get the burn, but it doesn't matter. I recorded so much over the weekend that I have like, I already have content for like this day and maybe already for Wednesday, which the uh, 31st of May. So in that regard, um, I just felt like recording a video and like there might be a day tomorrow where I don't feel like recording. So I just felt like getting this, recording this and then I have more content for the next days. But I don't want to overdo it because I know some of you guys can't uh, follow when I'm uploading too much. I, I, he might predict my Nihiligo switch because I made that hard Nihiligo play. Um, yeah, he might just go for Psychic because that covers the Nihiligo play, but he does go for Tailglow. I thought he wouldn't because last time I went hard Nihiligo. But yeah, this time I can... Now he can just Rain Dance here. I want to predict the Rain Dance, but he can go for Psychic. Psychic. This is unnecessary, but... Uh, I shouldn't have made this play, good lord. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, why would you not Rain Dance there? Like, if I'm... Like, my Mantine can't touch you. Uh, you had no... Re you know my moveset besides Defog, but it's obvious that I'm Defog. You had no reason... You had no reason not to go for Rain Dance there, so I get that play wrong. I shouldn't have risked that. And now I'm in big trouble because everything dies. I think I have to go Cafable. I mean, Mantine doesn't die, but Mantine also doesn't do anything to Manaphy. It's V-move, um, I just realized. But yeah, Moonblast should be able to kill us, and... Wait, 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 he's high robotics here. Yeah. I just... I just said he's V-move, but it, I was just thinking about z Rainance. I wasn't thinking about that he can also use the high robotics to attack me. So yeah, this puts me in a really bad spot. I should have gone Mantine there to, to scout for the Z-move, basically. But I have to scout now, because he can Rainance on my Toxic. Yeah, this puts me in a really bad spot. I don't know why that was the play, but of course he lucks out. Uh, please give me this burn for some justice. Yes, yeah, some justice few. Um, I might just lose this game. Actually, Mantan should solo him. Mantan should solo him, so I have to save this. Yeah, I didn't play this game optimal. I should have won this uh, a bit more comfortable, however you say it. Um, I don't want to let him get up an SD. I'll just U-turn here. Because I don't really need my landers, but if he U-turns on my, on my Mantan, he might be able to kill me with his uh, Torn, so this was a bit risky. But I had to make this play, I feel. He might be Torn, but if he Torns, he takes poison damage. That does pick me off. Wow, I thought I could lift that. And this pretty much puts me in such a bad position. I kind of lose to Scissor now. Yeah. Losing the Hilago sucked a lot, I shouldn't have risked it. I might have to dodge a hurricane with my... Might have to dodge a hurricane with my Heracross. He keeps U-turning, which is weird. Because hurricane just kills me, but he didn't want to risk it. Uh, which is understandable. And I'll U-turn here, put it in the roost. Put the Heracross in. Probably gonna go for a slow U-turn here, so I have to CC, because if I SD and he goes into Torn... I mean, I, I have to go for a dodge anyway, we do get a crit, which is nice. But he, he did SD up, so I should have SD'd on my own. I don't understand why he SD'd up. Um, I do want to keep this at full, though, for the Landris. So I'm gonna predict the Bullet Punch. Wait, what am I doing? This just gets to it killed. Yeah, that was not the play. Yeah, I misplayed this. But it didn't matter, like, I just lose to the... I just lose to the thingy. Man, I didn't mean to low my defense, I meant to Rock Blast. <sighs> I mean, it's okay, I'm gonna keep this in, I'm not... cutting my ults out. Wait, why didn't I SD there? Wait, why didn't I SD there? What the fuck am I doing? I think I just lost. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. GG, dude.
Well, we will k keep going on, it's fine. Oh, I wanted to change, but then I... <laughs> I keep running into Tapu Koko when my team is weak to Tapu Koko. Like, why why do people do this to me? We're just gonna leave a Clefable this time to get up our rocks early. It's like super high here, uh, super hot here in my room. But I turned off my um ventil. How do you say that? My fan. I turned it off just so you guys don't have that sound. Cause I know my microphone would pick that up. Damn, I have to like win three games in a row now. That that first L just wasn't. <laughs> I know that going hard in Illegal Man if he wasn't the play. So that's basically where I messed up in that game. I also thought Mantan could live a hit from from the torn, so I thought Menton just won the game at the end, but it clearly didn't. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to go Stella Stila. Um, yeah, I was considering going to Landris, so I don't... If I'm him, I probably might have Volt, uh, might have Florkin, but yeah, nah. Voltage is a fine play, because most of the time people just go Stella Stila, because it's most of the time it's the death set. Um, so I, I do understand this play, but I also could have gone Landris there, so... Like I was considering it, like I mentioned. Yeah, Coco is in, Coco is a threat, but at least I got rocks up early to ma to pressure his Coco a bit. And yeah, he also has a Herald Cross, so at least I have a Clefable to check that. He's gonna predict here, because I have, I have a Landris in the back, he's gonna predict it. But I can't really afford... I can't really afford to stay in. Yeah, see, I knew he would do something there. Could have stayed on Leech Seed and would have been in a really good position. Because his team is pressured so hard by Celestia if his Coco is not in. But yeah, I do just want to get up the damage on this. I do run some speed on my Landers. I should be able to outpace him. Like, I run more speed than most of most other defensive Landers do. But he's an offensive Lander with gravity, but this is fine. Like, he might be Z move, but... He can't kill me anyway in one hit. I'm also really hungry. I'm not only it's not only super hot in here, I'm also hungry as flip. But yeah, I do wanna Like I said, I really just had that moment where I wanted to record and then it's always a good idea to just get it done because later on I might have something to do. Might have to help out in the office. Or might just don't not feel like recording later on. He does go Heracross. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go Clefable. Lanris is still nice, so Coco can't spam his um, electric moves. So I do it. I do realize that my team is weak to Coco. Like I already mentioned it a few times. But it's just about what you want to be weak to, like I mentioned earlier. Like, you have to be weak to something in this meta game. Oh my god, that did so much. He's adamant. If he crits me, my Clefable dies. So the play might just be to go for Moonblast, but he might also just go into his... He might also go Majorna, but he does SD up, so this might just kill me. Um, so I should have just Moonblasted there. Yeah, Moonblast was the play. Oh my god, this is a roll. Okay, we live, never mind. So we do get a nice damage on the Heracross, so that make a difference. Um, we can still dodge, but it's just gonna close combat. Our pin missile. I can go on a hill, go and click HP fire, as that will be able to hit his um, Majorna, and it should also kill the Heracross. And I don't think he would go into Pelipper or Kingdra. Yeah, Pelipper especially not, but Kingdra... If he breaks HP fire, he can go Kingdra, but like I don't think he would. Because power jumps kind of obvious, so he would either stay in or go into Majorna, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, we do get get play correct, but it's gonna bounce off anyway because it's assault vest. Flash can versus Volt Switch. I'm just gonna go Celestia. If he Volt Switches, this puts me in a tough position. I 
but I do feel it's the play to make because he might just flash can exactly. And this just gives me a lead seed. Um, I do want to protect to get more leftovers. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, never mind. Yeah, I do just want to protect to get more leftovers. He might hard switch. But Celsius does so nice in this matchup that it's definitely worth it. And I should be slower since I'm minus speed nature. And now I'm able to throw up a lead seed as long as I connect. And lead seed just basically allows... Like, if he goes Tapu Koku, that just puts him in a bad position. So he decided to, um, take the, um, I'm just gonna double lead sheet, dude. Because he predicted my protect there, I was considering that. Yeah, yeah, he predicted my protect there. He wanted to, like, um, get this lead sheet and pivot out of my protect, so I can, I was, um, I saw through that plan. He's gonna roost our defog here. I lost my stealth rocker, so that sucks a lot. I kind of want to go into my Landris here to get it back healthy because it can check his Heracross. I mean, his Heracross is already low, what am I saying? But yeah, I do get that play correct. Even though I could have just gone the hill ago. I'm gonna go Manta in here, predicting a Ruth slash Scald. I don't want to just go for Protect on and have him go for Roost, exactly. And now I just get a free Toxic, even though he has a Majorna. So yeah, Scald is up. Skull is the better play. Yeah, I do feel... I mean, he got us rid of the rocks, which sucks, but I do kind of feel good about this. I don't know why he's slower. S he's min speed, what the fuck, he doesn't... Wait, no, he's minus speed on nat nature, he doesn't have EVs. I don't have speed investment, what the fuck? Um, he might predict my Landris this turn. But the way he just played this, I think he's a... Might not have HP eyes. Yeah, yeah, okay, nice. You can just protect here. See if he just U turns out of it, what he wants to do. Getting land with health, he was definitely nice. As he does have HP eyes. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut this. Yeah, I was considering to run some Spadev on my landers, but I decided against it. The physical bulk is still nice for opposing land over double lands. Uh, Tapu Koko versus uh, Landris, or oh, defensive. HP is the 64 to 77, and if he's live up, I don't think he's live up, yeah. Yeah, I should be able to lift this. He does just U-turn out, but I'm able to check him, basically, because I'm still healthy, and he doesn't have good switchings besides Pelipper, so I'm fine with this, and if he goes Pelipper, he just waits the rain turn, so that's completely fine, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't tested this team that I just built this earlier, and this is my first time using it, so... We got rid of the Heracross, which is amazing. So yeah, if I... Like, this team might have flaws, is what I was trying to say earlier. Protect on Landers is just cool. For choice lock mons, like Specs, Lily. Like, um, even though I have this for Specs, Lily, but like you saw earlier, Psyshock does a ton. I had Stone Edge on this Landers at first, but I changed it to U-turn, because um, U-turn into Heracross just seems so, so cool. Stone Edge would be if you um, if you feel you want the secondary pins to check, if Cell Steel isn't enough for you, because it gets pressured by Lily, you can t definitely run Stone Edge on this. Also, it's for Zardex, because some Zardex try to drag dance in regular form on you, because you, cause they think you don't have Stone Edge. But yeah, I don't see what I lose from going Mantan on this. Let's go Pelipper, but... Yeah, he he has the slow U-turn, that's why he doesn't have speed DB, so I can understand why he has that. Hmm. Kinda wanna go on a hill on the U-turn. But that that just gives him Kingdra, but actually Kingdra doesn't... Kingdra still has to predict what it does. It also just gives him a free Majorna, but by going Coco, I prevent him from going and... By going on a hill I prevent the Coco from coming in, but... I don't agree with Roosting there. I kind of want to double out breaking the Majorna, but I just we I'll just chip it down. That's fine. Yeah, I should have doubled out. So I want to predict the Volt switch and go into Landrus, which is a bit risky. As he does switch into Coco, so we do catch him there. He predicted my Celestealer. He knows that HPS doesn't kill me. I do want to U-turn on his Pelipper, but it's just not worth it in case he stays. I should have U-turned, yeah. 
I should have definitely U turned. Damn, U turn would have been so nice there. You the hurricanes, oh, I'll just U turn out here. I mean, the, the rain is about to run out. So if he didn't U turn here, that would be nice, but he did. So yeah, Coco is gonna come back in uh, um, the journal. I feel like he's not gonna go for the electric move and I'm gonna make a risky prediction here. And he does try to catch my landers. Like I knew eventually I have to play kind of risky around Coco because it's just a tough matchup. Electric terrain run out so I can afford to go Nihiligo. It's a mid ground play. It eats up HPIs and can also live a thunder. And like he also has to hit a thunder as he HPIs it again. And I just wanna I kinda wanna HP fire here. But if he goes Pelipper, now nah, he's not going Pelipper, he's going with Journal. I'm clicking HP Fire. He does go Pelipper, so I should have Power Gym. Like, I just felt like he had no reason not to go with Journal, you feel me? Like, I don't agree with his play there. Um, this is bad, because now. I mean, I did get nice damage on the Coco. And also, the next time his Coco is in a Momenta, and I think I can afford to go Landris. Because he's kind of shook because I stayed in last time. But yeah, this is literally one of the biggest threats to my team. If he HP is again, I'm. Po props to him. Yeah, he, he thunders this time. I'm the I'm the master of 50 50s, guys. Trust me. Even though I just got that one wrong. I'm Sometimes I just know. And in game one, like I said, I thought that my. I kind of choked game one by going hard on my Nihiligo. But I thought that Mention had it at the end. I didn't think that Life of Hurricane would do 41, but I underestimated the power of Tornadoes. But yeah, I will not play around with this type of Koku. It's a bit annoying that he gets in his Pelipper and he doesn't get punished because he got rid of my rocks. Um, but what can you do? The other thing I could do... Um, I could make this HP Flying Landris. And I could... Yeah, I could actually make this Landris HP Flying to check Heracross. Change out my Clefable for something like Tangrowth, which would help versus um, Tapu Koku a lot. And then I could make myself steal a Fist Death, because losing cl losing Clefable means I lose... Um, no, 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 that's not that's not what I meant to say. If I make this HP flying, I am weak to opposing Double Dance Landris. So I have to make this Fist Death Celestealer stealer then. Yeah, that's an option, definitely. I can also still replace Mantan, but I just feel it's pretty nice in some matchups, especially with the Greninja one. Um, I feel like he's just gonna roost here. Um, he show he already showed that he can't touch many Hiligo, so I'll just go to Nihiligo. It's an interesting move set. And he's just forced into I mean he can also go Majorna, but if if he goes Kingdra I still have the the option just to go into my Celesteela, because he shouldn't go for a water move when I have a Mantine. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go Celesteela on this, on his, um, if he goes King Door, but he decides to go Majorna. So I'm just gonna go Celesteela on this. He might not Volt Switch, because I went into Landris earlier. But he does Volt Switch, which is okay. That does a fuck ton. So that did definitely, that's definitely, I thought he was AV. Why did I do so much, dude? Like, I have to cull this. Majorna versus uh, Celestila. Oh, Volt Switch. I mean, it should only be like 30%, but it do so much, dude. If he's modest. Maybe he's not assault, but maybe it's like. Yeah, Volt Switch should do 38 to 45. That did more than it should have done. Oh, the Electric Terrain just ran out, I realized. I want to stay in here so badly, dude. I'm gonna do it. Oof. I mean... <laughs> I have to, I have to admit, uh, like you guys realize, this Coco, like Coco is a really fucking pain to deal with for his team, but... Just have to kinda play it risky with it, cause they like always see the landers in their bag. He's either gonna go into his Pelipper here or he's gonna Hydro Pump. Protect is obvious, I'm double leech seeding. Yeah, I'm double leech seeding. Protect was obvious. This kinda makes him wanna roost. 
But yeah, I always get a free Nihiligo and Pelipper. And if you Ruth, I get a Power Gem off and weaken his Magirna. And yeah. I can also double outbreaking his Magirna into Heracross. That sounds like a fire play going to Heracross. If he stays into U turn, he's awful. Yeah, okay, nice. We just get a free close combat here. I'm adamant, I'm blowing you away, dude. If you somehow had speed me, that would be weird, because the way he's been taking hits, I think he's bulky, you just blow him away. So yeah, I feel like I played that decently. This life is kinda long, but after the first game, I could've played it a bit better, and I just decided I kinda wanna take my time. And this is like, more of a balance-ish team, so... The games just will take a bit longer. This is nice to kill the Pelipper, but Nihiligo also kills the Pelipper. Um, but I still don't lose anything from going Mantine, because if he goes for Draco... Um, I just eat it up, wow. I didn't think it would do that little. That, that, see, that's like, that's, I think it's Specs, right? So if he's really Specs and only that a little... Like, that's what I'm saying, Mantine is really good sp death. Like, I didn't think that Hurricane would have killed me. But yeah, I'm gonna go Landris, because I've been staying a lot on this Coco, so he's eventually just gonna... Go for Thunder. Like, I've been staying with my Manta room with my Celestia, I'm just super wild. But I kinda have to stay in sometimes. Yeah, let's go for HPI, which is a good play. Hmm. I mean, if I protect here, the rain will end. Meaning that Thunder isn't accurate anymore, and I kinda wanna go into my. <laughs> I mean, what does Landris do here? I just, I just get a free kill. My, I don't need my Landris. I'll just U-turn in case he over predicts and U-turns into his Pelipper. Yeah, yeah, u turns to, Yeah, yeah. If he U-turns into his Pelipper, I get a free U-turn. That's exactly what my plan was, and I still keep this as fodder. So yeah, I, I think I played this game well. Um, yeah, I just get a kill here. I think. You can go hard Kingdra, obviously, yeah, that's an option. But damage on Kingdra is nice, and Kingdra doesn't do anything with me. Because I have the combination of Mantan and Celesteela, so he would have to crit me to break through that. The only thing that is super scary is Mantan. Like, I'm still thinking how I can... Not Mantan, did I say Mantan? I meant Coco. I'm still thinking how I could fix the Coco weakness. Oh, I was just talking about it. But I bet you, like, I bet you, like, I don't know, I don't want to say money, but I bet you, like, I'm so sure if I will change to fix the Coco weakness that uh, that's, this is fine that he throws me. I can just uh, go for Skull to Saw. If I will change my team, I'm pretty sure to fix my Coco weakness. I'm pretty sure I won't run into Cocos anymore. But Tangros is just really nice, so I'm gonna make that change. Oh! I bet you I'm gonna run into stall. Um, I'm gonna make a different version of this team. So that's always what I like to do. I just like to go ahead and build my team. In theory, it's good, but then I realize what I'm weak to, and then I like to make another version or make some changes. Just based off of that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep spamming. Actually, I have to be rusty. What am I doing? That was a misfoot play on my part. See if, if he freezes me, I'm in a bad spot. But yeah, the change that I wanted to make is uh, make this HP flying. Put a Tangros over the Cliff Able. Oh, I have to also give the Landris rocks then. Uh, put a Tangros over the Cliff Able. Should have paused the video to do this. Because it's gonna be a super long video. Let me know if you guys like long videos. Uh, knock off. Kind of like leave them over Gigarin for the power of quick to so Mawal doesn't get three switches. Mawal is always a threat, and the last move probably HPIs. I mean, he's gonna go for Roost slash. I mean, I just get a free Nihiligo. Power Gem up. He doesn't have any rain turns, so he's screwed up. He's screwed here. Um, HP, do I run HPI or do I run, um, hmm. yeah, I run HPI here, I have HP fire on the other thing, I have HP fire on my Nihiligo if I recall correctly, yeah, yeah. 
And yeah, I wanted to make the cells still a fist stuff. Because uh, losing in power eyes on my landers. Yeah, this Nihiligo just wins now. So yeah. I already have my GG ready, but um, I'm gonna wait till the game is actually over. But he might just forfeit, so I'm just gonna drop the GG because the game is actually over. But yeah, I'll definitely want to try to go positive this live. So we're gonna grab another one. As we are only 1518, which is kind of low. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make this fifth step first. Yeah, actually, mix step would probably be smarter, but I wanna try out fifth step for now. Like, this is just. Let me know how you guys build teams. I just like to, like. Go on a ladder, test it out, see what I'm weak to change around, like I said, and then uh, I end up with like four versions of the team at the end of the day. <laughs> and then it's just like one version that is better was a stall matchup. So if I'm gonna play in a tournament game I, and I know my opponent likes stall, I will probably win the version bring the version that is less weak to stall, which would be the version with Rox Clef, obviously. He has a Medicim, which is most likely his lead. Um, so yeah, I just made myself weaker to manage him without. <laughs> realizing see that's what I meant like you can't check everything you have to be weak to something and I lost Rocky Hellman which sucks he goes top of Fini so we get damage on that I don't know why that was the play um, I do have some speed so I should be able to outpace him just U-turn into Tangrove and we just get a free knockoff slash. He, he he misses. So if I'm him, I either go into a Medicham. I don't want to go. F I don't. I just want to make a play that covers all option options. Uh, I go into his Medicham, but if he's bad, he goes into Merrick. But yeah, I'll just leave them actually. Yeah, yeah, he's bad for going Merrick. His knockoff was obvious as fuck. Yeah, he's just awful for making that play, but. What can you do? The reason I have leftovers on Landris is... I mean, at first I had Protect, the so leftovers made even more sense. It's also for Z-moves. And it's for stuff like uh, Zygarde, Merorak, because they don't make contact, so they don't take helmet damage, and I just want my health back. But yeah, if I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to defog, so... I'll just U-turn here. He goes hard into Medichim. <laughs> Maybe predicting my rocks, but this is just a free Nihiligo. This is a free Sludge Riff, yeah. I mean, I will have to take a Fake out and then you can go into Landris after, but... You can go with Landris slash Marek, but... Medicham is such a threat. Yeah, damn, this, this version of the team is weak to Medicham. Even though Celesteela can take a hit and has Protect, but most of them run T-Punch, especially when they're paired with Tapu Koko, so it's Electric Turin boosted. And he does go Landris, makes the correct play. Should have gone. Uh, that still does a lot. That makes me think that is offensive. Um, I kind of want to go into Mantine. But I'm pretty sure this is a double dance land with. Because he had rocks on Merorak, and this is probably the Z move. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a Z move land, or maybe it's not double dance. Mm, I kind of like the first version of the team better. He has U turn, so it's like U turn Z move, unless it's Z move Coco. Such a weird team, dude. Gonna protect here. And. I mean, you can just U turn on my Tangros here, but I'm gonna predict him to not do it. But yeah, he gets me, and I just lose now. I mean, I should have just gone Tangros, but if he U turns in the Medicine, he gets a kill. So, like, it's like tough with a defensive team like this. Let's just fire off another Sludge Race. If he goes Landros, we put in a bad spot again. Landros almost gets two hit kills, so he might be tempted to not make that play. Damn, dude. I have to win this somehow. I can enter life in peace if I win this. If I if I lose, I have to like make the life super long. Yeah, he does go Tangros, which is a weird decision. He's gonna go Landris here, yeah, but I'll just take the damage on the Landris, and in case he stays in, I get a beast boost. I'll take that. Getting rid of Tangros is... I mean, it's not a big threat, but it's still nice to get rid of it. I think he's forced to off quick here. Um, he might just U-turn though, because he knows that I kind of need this. 
But if he if he doesn't U turn, he gives me a default. Unless he, actually he could have continental crush. So if he has continental crush, he doesn't lose anything from earthquaking, and then just continental crushing on the next turn. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's just gonna U turn here, so I'm gonna sludge away. He does go for knockoff. That kills well. So he's definitely offensive, and I'm just gonna default now. But <laughs> This this game I was like feeling too icy. Like I even changed my team to a Tangros. So I had like no reason not to go on a Tangros on the Coco, but I just stayed in with my steel earlier. I was feeling too icy. <laughs> I was trying to stun. Cause the Coco just you don't on this anyway, so he had no reason not to click the electric move. But I'm gonna knock off because last time this guy thought that Marok is a switch into Tangros for some reason. If he goes Medicham good play. Yeah, he goes Merrick again. Yeah, this, this guy is just bad. Like, you deserve to get crit. If that mattered, you deserve to get crit. Because, like, Merrick is not switching to Tangles, dude. Like, get me out of here. He can just freely Ice Punch you and fuck me up. But I don't really need my Manton at this point, I feel. I think he's Scarf Lander the way it's played. I want to go into my land expecting a Thunder Punch and it'll get an Intimidate off this way and I keep another sack for later, which is definitely nice to have. Because I'm, I'm gonna need to um, save a sack for later, this matchup is tough. As he does just Ice Punch, which is not the play I would have made, but okay. So that did not work out as, as planned and I'm just gonna lose this game probably. I'm just going to his own land. With having Protect would be icy, but we don't have it. Um, let's just at least get, try to get up rocks. Maybe he doesn't have HPIs because he's used to a knock of Earthquake and maybe Edge. And he should be HPIs. Oh, he actually... Now he should be Edge on Earthquake. Cause it's kinda weak to Zard, uh, why? Yeah, he's not weak to Zard, why? He's, like, he can check it with Coco and stuff, but like... He can't switch into Zard, why? Mara can also check it, but it's not, also not a switch in yeah. I hope he can pull this off somehow. I know I didn't play Optimal, but I just wanted to get another live for you guys. And I know most of the content on my channel has been tournament games. And for those of you who enjoy live... I wanted to do a live, yeah, and I also do enjoy doing this, and I don't have that many teams at the moment, I mean I have some, but not that many that I built myself, and I'm not, and it's kind of tough for me to use people, uh, teams from other people, because I don't know what every set is meant to beat, so I just like to use my own teams most of the time, and just off quick, because I want to get rocks up. He's gonna defog here and I'm just gonna rocks, like, I get my rocks up 100% of the time because I have more PP. I mean, yeah, he can taunt me, but he do get a lucky crit uh, there. I mean, my Landros got super healthy in the process and we got rid of the Fini, so it's not too bad, but uh, his Magicham still gets a kill here. Not that I can do anything about that, but I do feel like his Magicham probably isn't running Zen Hutbot, so my um, Heracross is nice. It comes in after I sec. I set my man down here. Could have also set my landers, doesn't really matter. He gets a freeze, which doesn't matter too much, yeah, at all. And Heracruz should be able to grab a kill here with Pin Missile. Um, let's go landers, as long as we connect, this should kill. Nice. That crit didn't matter. Let's go Coco. I do need health on this for the... So I'm just gonna go Tangos. I do need health on my Heracross to beat the Medicham. So yeah, you guys can see, this is just my way how I like to play, like balance ish bulky offense. It's kind of in between, however you want to call it. Um, and you're obviously gonna be weak to something because there's so many threats in Sun and Moon. As I don't know really with HP anything there. I don't know what he's predicting. Just gonna leave Storm. Because that might kill the Medicham at 64. And it does kill. This is why we wanna leave them over Gigurin and yeah, GG, my man. I think I played this um, okay. The, the only one game that I didn't play optimal was game one. Oh yeah, this game also played. I also threw my Celesteel away for no reason. Um, yeah, I just wanna get Regenerator to come back and kill us with Earthquake. HPS is fine, but my Heracross can pick up the kill here with close combat. And GG, my man. 
So yeah, I'm gonna end it here because I don't wanna make it too long. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you like what mods you want me to build around and you can join my discord the link is in the description and if you want to build with me or send me teams that i can use in a live you can hit me up there or hit me up on my small wall and dark which is signing out peace